We got one. We got one. What's up, guys? So today, I wanted to actually go around and talk to people about which deadlift style they prefer, sumo deadlift or conventional deadlift. It's been a heavily debated topic for a really long time, and I am personally a conventional puller myself. However, a lot of the people that go to my current gym complex strength are sumo pullers, right? And a lot of people that are coming into powerlifting now are starting with sumo deadlift, right? Instead of conventional. And I always, I'd always wondered what the, the preference is. Is it a comfortability thing? Is it, uh, is it just a mind over matter thing? Is it a strength thing, a technique thing? What is it, right? So let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ashley Hodge Fitness. Go follow her on Instagram. She's cool, she's cool people. She's also under Will, just like myself and Sung. Uh, she's, I don't know, are you new to powerlifting at all? Like, are you, are you pretty new in powerlifting? Are you? Uh, I started in 2017. So not new, not even close to being new. <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> not even close. So. Got a few years under my belt. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, absolutely did not know that. Do you prefer sumo deadlift or do you prefer conventional deadlift? I definitely prefer sumo. Why is that? Um, anatomically, I have, uh, I'm at a mechanical advantage because I have a longer arm, so I don't have much range of motion, so that's why I prefer sumo over conventional. But I've seen long, like people with longer arms and shorter torsos still pull conventional. Is that like a preference thing, a, a, a comfortability thing, or what? I would definitely say a preference thing. I mean, it's probably like any exercise, you definitely want to do exercise that feels most best to you. I mean, I definitely experimented with conventional, semi-sumo, along with sumo, but I definitely prefer sumo. That's my best, my favorite. Is sumo cheating? No. Is conventional cheating? No. <laughs> so the debate, so the debate is the debate is basically is sumo cheating or is conventional cheating? And a lot of people have now started to say that conventional cheating because it's easier. No, it comes down to whichever variation works best for you. Nothing comes down to cheating. And hey, if you're a mechanical advantage to do either lift, then do that. It's a technicality. It's a technicality. But anyway, Ashley, I appreciate you for doing this. Thank you. It's my first time doing videos like this, so Hopefully, the viewers enjoy this and they actually get a lot out of this. Um, I'm going to go to the next person, okay? Thanks. Okay, next up is Dr. Reigns. How you doing, Dr. Reigns? I'm good. Doing well, bro. Doing well. If you don't know, now you know Dr. Reigns is my chiropractor. And I've been seeing him pretty much since I got here, actually, right? Yeah, you know, like, depending on, like, what phase of prep and all that, like, different things will bug you. And so it'll be, like, on and off depending on how you're feeling. Yeah, it's been a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you're cool people. He does a good job, too. Uh, so, my question for you, Dr. Reigns, is do you prefer sumo or conventional? For myself? Yes. I pull sumo. Yeah. Why do you pull sumo? Why do you prefer sumo? Have you seen the way I'm built? <laughs> Little levers. Yes. Yes. Little levers. However, I have seen other people try to pull conventional no. with your same leverages. That's fair. Uh, I just don't like it. I don't. I actually have a bit of a kind of have like a little bit of a I've told you about my little brain problem right yes so like for me being in a fully extended position like that like it really like we talk about say like bigger macro movements being issues from like a nervous system perspective being very like nervous system suppressing think of that times like three or four of what a normal person would okay 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 so is conventional cheating no well no but Nothing's cheating as long as you follow whatever your federation's guidelines are. So sumo's not cheating either. It's not cheating as long as you're hitting the marks that your federation sets up. Okay. All right. Good answer. It's a very PC answer, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't want a war, so I'm going to answer right, all right? Yeah, I'm going to answer it for both sides, okay? Same thing like looking at what, like ben or arching in a bench press. Like, oh, we're not going to get into that. That's an that's a, that's a argument for a different day. Diminishing range of motion so that you can lift heavier through a smaller plane like is that cheating the federation doesn't say it's cheating so hey 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 don't be sharing any secrets all right don't be don't be doing that so sorry somebody's getting arch i wish i could but it's a skill and if you get if you can improve a skill then cool it is a skill that's crazy yeah i couldn't arch for a little for the longest time i could not form an arch because i was so fat but it was so, like, so but hey i appreciate you dr reigns this is my first time doing a video like this sure, so Thank you for your time, course, and anytime. hopefully we can do this again, man. Yeah, any time, bro. Any time. I'm an open book. Cheers. So, what's your name? Sergio. All right, Sergio. Do you prefer conventional or sumo? Depends. I, I like conventional when I'm not peaking. Sumo once I'm getting ready to compete. 
Okay, so it's a, it's a off season, on season side. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So sumo when I'm doing more strength work, conventional one it's gonna be more like uh, hypertrophy, anything like that. So I definitely do sumo for the lower rep stuff, conventional for more higher rep stuff. Uh, a lot of people now prefer sumo. Why do you think most powerlifters coming into the game now prefer sumo? I think it's definitely more um, position where you get more strength from. I think everybody agrees that slightly less range of motion. I mean, it depends how you set up, but I think you definitely in a, I mean, it depends on your, how your body's set up, but I think most people are stronger in that position. They can get more force off the ground. I think it's more technical though. So if you really good at the, get good at the technique with it, you can get, be much stronger with it. Whereas with conventional, you can just kind of go up and rip it. But I feel like if you get the technique down with sumo, you're definitely stronger in that position. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. Hmm. Do you think conventional cheating? Conventional is cheating? Do you think conventional is cheating? <laughs> no, I don't think conventional is cheating. Do you think sumo is cheating? I don't think sumo is cheating. Okay, okay, okay. So the debate, the debate is, is sumo cheating or is conventional cheating? And a lot of people seem to lean towards it, sumo's cheating. Yeah, exactly. But why is it cheating? I think it's the, it's definitely the guys you see on Instagram. Legs all the way out to the crazy edge of the wide. plates, crazy wide stance, three inch range of motion, and right back down. That's I feel like a good majority of people are gonna be doing sumo a little bit closer. It's not that much of a difference in the range of motion, but I think it's definitely the guys that set up really, really wide that kind of feed into that stigma that it's way easier. But Sergio, I appreciate your time, man. Yeah, of course, Thank you. Yeah. All right, so we got one more. We got one more, okay? So, What's your name? I'm Natalie. Natalie, nice to meet you. My name is Mike. Yeah. The question for today is, do you prefer sumo or conventional? Uh, I prefer conventional. For me. That's surprising. Wow. Okay. Why is that? Why do you prefer conventional? Um, I tried sumo once and I just like could not figure it out. Like it was just harder for me. So I just switched back to conventional. We got one. <laughs> we got one. She's the first one that prefers, con prefers conventional. That's crazy. What's your opinion on the whole, the whole sumo versus conventional debate? I mean, I don't feel like sumo is cheating. Like there are some people who go like crazy with it and like it is like such a small range of motion. But like at the end of the day, like that's kind of the game. Like you want to get it as easy as possible. So like props to them for being able to do that. Like if you're just, I don't know. I feel like most people are in like the normal range and like that's, I don't know. Good for them if they can do it. That's insane. All right, so that's cool, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're the last one. Is there anything you want to say before I close out the video? Um, not really. I'm interested to see everyone else's answers. What's your Instagram? Um, Natalie.house. Natalie.house. Everybody that was listening to this video, go follow them. All right, gang. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Obviously, most people nowadays prefer sumo, and it's for different reasons. But as per consensus, sumo is not cheating, and neither is conventional. Okay, whatever you can do to get the bar up off the ground, do it and make it look good. All right, that's all for today. Go ahead and like the video, tap the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please, please share the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and uh, also go follow me at Michael Codre underscore power if you haven't already either. You know what I'm saying? Go check me out. Go check me out. I'm here, boy. I'm here, boy. Anyway, guys, power beyond. I'll see you guys next time.